we're making one of these beautiful kitchen knives from the Ron Hock 8 inch kitchen knife kit. In the first couple of videos in this series, we've already created these scales and glued it together onto the tang. Now it's time in this video to shape that to exactly fit the tang and get ready for the finish. The knife is really coming along. I've got the scales initially shaped uh, and drilled for the rivets and now it's all glued up. The two scales, the handle, the rivets uh, and the epoxy has cured. So it's really starting to look like a knife handle attached here to the knife. Uh, obviously I've got a lot of cleanup now to work the final shaping of this handle coming uh, off of the glue. Now I've got to shape the handle to be nice and smooth and contoured so it feels beautiful and then of course we get to apply the finish and see this knife really come to life. For the initial cleaning up of the handle and squeeze out I'm going to turn back to the belt sander here to work on the two faces and clean this up and get it pretty tight to the tang. How cool is that? It's looking awesome. I've got it Contoured to match the tang pretty much all the way around a couple little spots to clean up right there some glue squeeze out Right along there you can see the dark bit there and a little bit along the top still a little bit of dark edging just where it squeeze out So I'll tighten that up a little bit. It's pretty smooth. The belt sander here is just awesome for doing this work Cleans it up quickly. It's super smooth. I've got about a 120 uh, paper on there I think so it's taking a little bit longer for the initial I could swap start with a lower grit to do the initial and then polish but it really didn't take too long just with the 120 now getting in here is going to be a little bit of a challenge so uh, I'll figure out a method for getting pretty tight up in there so I'll clean that up and then I want to round over uh, these all these corners so I definitely want to get a nice roundness to that it's still very blocky and square um, and also it generates a lot of heat uh, as I'm going in there. So I'm taking very light passes. I don't want to generate that much heat. It'll loosen the glue bond. Uh, and so definitely taking light passes, working my way around, giving it some time to cool down uh, in between. I have a variety of files uh, kicking around that I can use to try to get right in this little section and clean that up. I've got about a sixteenth of an, of an inch of wood to remove uh, before I get down to the metal. So I'm actually going to start with a bigger RU rasp and be very careful to just remove the wood, try not to touch the metal and get that down and then I'll turn over to my other files uh, which can remove both the wood and the metal and smooth everything up. Let's consider another option. So I was able to get the rasp from the file and get that pretty smooth and I realized I could probably get my sander right in there. So I've got some 120 grit paper on here and I'm just going to give this a try. With just about a minute or so with the random orbit sander I was able to get all the way into the front. That worked really nicely. Could have gone a little coarser with the paper, but it really didn't take long to clean that up. Uh, so that's good enough for me. It's looking really nice. I've got it, the wood scales smoothed all the way around, matching the shape of the tang uh, and the tang all nice and cleaned up. So it's perfectly smooth across. So the final step here for the shaping is going to be to round over all these corners so that the hand can grip nicely all the way around. I'm gonna freehand that you could mark uh, maybe an eighth of an inch inside all the way around to give you a guide to work towards. I might do a little bit of that uh, and see how it goes. And I think I'm going to switch back to the belt sander to quickly start rounding those over and then uh, move on from there. That is very cool. It's looking great. Uh, feeling much better now that that is rounded over. So definitely got some work here at the front to do. Uh, where again the belt sandal here is having a hard time getting in there. Uh, so I'm going to move back to my other sander uh, and finish these front corners and do another uh, little bit more smoothing here also at the back. 
So now I'm just taking my 120 grit paper and going all the way around by hand and smoothing all the corners and edges and really getting things to flow nicely together. The handle's in the shape that I want. Now I'm just smoothing all the curves. Uh, so as we move progressively through the grits, uh, your lowest grit, get all the shaping done that you want, get the exact shape that you're looking for, and then as you move your way up, you're just simply going to be polishing uh, those corners, rounding those corners together uh, to make smooth curves. And then of course, I'm going to go all the way up to a pretty high grit to get a nice polish on this handle. The shaping and smoothing process of the handle is now done, and it looks fantastic compared to where we started. Now the shaping can go really quickly. Honestly, maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you're pretty much done. So, but take your time while you're doing it because any little slip up or so, I mean, these scales are now on there. And so you definitely wanna take your time, get it right. Um, try your hand on it quite a few times as you're working along uh, and make sure it's feeling right to you. And like I said, just take your time uh, with the tools. That belt sander can really take material off in a hurry. So light touches. Uh, light passes and then when you get the right shape go ahead and work your way up in the grits to really smooth it and get it ready for that finish <music>